Well, there we are. We're just heading down here now to have another look at the old stone shed. We'll come out before. Yeah, dog. Yeah, we've got a little dog down here on the road. Do you want to get off soon? Do <laughs> Yeah, he's got a. Oh, what's he carrying? He looks like he's carrying a rock. He might be detecting too. He's been out chasing treasure. G'day, boys. This is where the old stage coaches used to come across. Just up the top of the hill is the old. Um, there's an old inn where the people used to stay. Stay in. Stagecoaches used to pull up. Anyway, we'll switch her off now and I'll wait till we get up here. There's Bob over there, he's digging down on something. My first find for the day. Yeah, you see. Maybe big lump of rubbish. Long behind, might have been an old wedge or something like that. Anyway, that's a start. Bob's on the something. What do you got there, Bob? Winchester shotgun bottom. And the old paper carp, is it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the old Winchester one. Oh, well, it's something. Better than nothing. Yeah. There's a little bit of decorative tin or something I found here. It's got a bit of a pattern that on it. I'm not sure whether it's yeah. Something like that anyway. Well, that's interesting. It's not very far from where I found the whole the coins the other day. A bit of a high here. Around 80, 82, 83, which is good. See if I can find it. Oh, here it is. Uh, it's just a bit of old decorative uh, something that's got written on it. Here's something that's got written on it. Probably a tag of some sort. Anyway, we'll have a look, clean up later, and have a look into the house. Yeah, I didn't film this noise on this one, but. What I found in here is like a little buckle of some sort. Might even be gold plated or something. I never know. By the looks of the colour of it. Yeah, we might have something. It's got a bit of weight in it, so it might even be a gold. By the looks of it. Maybe not, but we'll clean it up later and have a look, eh? Hey? Yeah. Just over. It's not very far from where I found the coins last time I was out here, you know. So this might have been an area where all the stagecoaches and that might have stopped before they went into the shop and that. Yeah. We'll have a look, clean it up later, and see if it's the shiny stuff. Okay. Got a bit of a signal here. Been a long time to see the head one. I've been doing a bit of iron and rubbish. This one here doesn't seem too bad. In the 80, 6 to 8 inches deep. Worthwhile having to dig. I'll let you know what it is in a minute. Right. Out of the hole, but got a bit of a scratch to it now, so it's probably just a bit of rubbish. Oh. 
I'll get in here and have a bit of a probe with the Oh, probe's playing up again. I don't know what it is, but it's got something on there. I'll have to clean it up later and have a read it and let me know when I can find all the clean up. Right on. You see what Bob's got here, we've sort of come up with a cricket stump point. So it's obvious they used to have a couple of games of cricket here with the other cricket buckles and things were found around the place and uh, so uh, that's good. Something we found today that's worthwhile keeping. Okay, that, we'll get back to you. Well, I've already dug the hole out, but that's the noise. Sounds just what I love to hear. Uh, we'll get the probe out and see if we can find something amongst the pile here. There's something's going off here somewhere. A good one. Lump of molten something. Melted something down. Oh, this damn probe's blowing up again. Alright, that's rubbish. And all the other stuff we found over a period of a couple of days. Some pieces. Some flour and old iron there. Bits of brass. The brake handle looks like an off a motorbike or something. Bits of old brass knobs and things off beds. Some leads. Oh, block off a thing. Something off one of the machinery. Hey, off the old shed. It was a tobacco shop. So I'll fire up here. I'll look around there thinking I might find some trash treasures, but no, nothing there either. Hey, nice spot, we know, we'll wander up, we're going to head back in towards town and possibly have a look around some old rooms on the way back. Uh, flying out and um, catch a lot. Now on the way back from the old um, stone uh, building, we'd sort of we'd call into the St Andrews Parish Hall we passed on the way and my battery's gone flat on my detector, so I thought I'd give Bob the chance to jump one on top of me. And he's here into it already. He's got something he scratched just then. And we'll wait and see what he pulls out. He's got something going down in there. It's a live dig, so I hope it's a good one, Bob. Probably a water pipe. <laughs> Just a 
bit of rubbish? Yeah, the technical term is crap. <laughs> Alright, so Bob's found the first bit of crap. <laughs> Try this little old church on the way back. We haven't had much success today. A couple of walk and bake dinners here. But, uh, we'll try this little church on the way back home. Like I said, we haven't had much luck today. I've got a couple of um, three decimal coins back at that last hall. But, uh, out at the stone building, yeah, we didn't get nothing. We must have cleaned it all out. Alright, we'll give it a go here and see what we come up with. This is the railway bridge there. And uh, we'll see if there's anything in here. The courthouse across the road. The old courthouse, it's now a museum. Beautiful old church here. This is an oldie. St. Anne's Church. Pete. Peterson MDCC CXL. I'll have to work that out later. Alright, we'll go and give it a dig. Starting the footpath at the front here it says St Andrews 1840. So it's a river, eh? The old bell here at the front. Welcome to the historic Presbyterian Church of Patterson. Many early settlers were Scots, and hence the Presbyterian Church St. Anne's was established in the late 1830s. St. Anne's is said to be the oldest Presbyterian Church on mainland Australia. The worship and marriage services are no longer held in this building. One of the nearest Presbyterian Church for Christian worship would be Maitland Presbyterian Church. Very good, eh? 1830s. You might find something nice around this that hadn't even really been hit. Give it a go. Well, you wouldn't believe it. Just outside the front door. Oops, upside down. Just outside the front door. Six inches deep, I find a dollar coin. Unbelievable. Here we go. Take it out. I didn't think it's going to be anything, so I just take it out. That's one here. And it just looks like it's the size of a halfpenny. Yeah, King George on one side. Uh, can't make out what date it is yet. I can see the head of King George on the other side, which is something. Very good. 